Let's say that many years ago you've started yourself a nice little business. You have no debt, and your business every year generates a pre-tax income of a million and a half a year, and a third of that goes to taxes. So you get a nice one million dollars a year of net income, and it's a super stable business. Nothing risky over here. Just by virtue of what your business does, the odds of this one million year changing for the better or the worst isn't that likely. So this is essentially your this is what your balance sheet would look like. These are your assets. You have no debt. Let's assume you have no liabilities, and so you own all of the equity. You essentially own all of the assets. But you're nearing retirement, and you want to kind of cash out. You don't necessarily want to sell to your competitors, or maybe there aren't any natural competitors to sell to because you've been, comp- well, or, uh, you don't want to sell to them if they exist because you've competing with them for your for your whole life, and this isn't the type of business that you can IPO because it's not quite big enough. So maybe we bump into each other and I say, hey, this this business looks interesting. I like the idea that your business is stable and it can generate a lot of income year after year after year. So what I say is, hey, would you be willing to take ten million dollars for your business? So I offer. I offer ten million dollars, and to you that sounds pretty good. That's about ten times. That's exactly ten times your yearly net income. This isn't a growing business; just very stable. Seems like a reasonable deal to you. On the other hand, for me, I'm like you know, paying ten million dollars and getting a million dollars a year. That's kind of ten percent on my money. That's okay, but maybe I can get some leverage here. Maybe I don't have to put all of the ten million in. Maybe I could borrow some of it, and maybe I'll get a better return that way. So when it comes time to closing, when it comes time to closing, so I'm buying the assets. So these are the same assets that I'm buying, and I'm going to give them, and the money that I raise for these assets are going to go to you, the person who started this business. So here are the assets. So instead of me putting up the entire ten million dollars, what I do is I put up one million dollars myself. So I put up one million dollars myself, one million from, from me, and I go to a bank and I say, look. Will you lend me nine million dollars? I'm going to put a million dollars of my own money. Will you lend me nine million dollars to help borrow to help buy this business for ten million dollars? And the bank to say, I don't know, that's a lot of money. We're putting a lot of money at risk. And I'll say, look, you could charge me a decent interest rate, maybe a ten percent interest rate, and this is a super stable business. So clearly, I'll be able to pay the interest on that money from the business. And if for whatever reason I'm not able to pay the money, you can get the business. So I'm essentially giving you the business as collateral. So you find some bank to agree to it, and so they will lend you nine million dollars. They will not lend you nine million dollars. Nine million dollar loan. And let's say that it is at a 10%, 10% interest level. So now, after I have so nine million from the bank, one million for me, that goes to you. You can now uh, retire and buy your dream home or whatever else you might have needed to do with that money. You could leave it for for your for your children, whatever you might donate it to charity, whatever floats your boat. But now the capital structure of the business looks like this. I now do have a lot of debt. I bought you out using leverage. This is a leveraged buyout. So now there is one million dollars of equity that came from me, and there is nine million dollars of debt that came from the bank. That's nine million dollars of debt. Assets, at least what I paid for it was ten million dollars. Liabilities are nine million dollars. What's left over is one million. And let's think about how this investment, assuming the business keeps generating a million a year, let's think about how good of a payoff this might be for my one million dollar investment. So before I had a pre-tax income of 1.5 million. So 1.5 million pre-tax, pre-tax before. Now I'm going to have to pay some interest. So now I'm going to have to pay. So nine million dollars at 10%. That is 900,000 dollars in interest. So now my pre-tax won't be 1.5 million. I'm also going to have to pay 900k in interest. So minus 900k. Means that I have 600,000, so 1.5 minus 900k is 600,000 per year pre-tax income. 600,000 per year in pre-tax income, and then I will pay taxes on that. The cool thing about corporate interest is that it's tax deductible. It's deducted from your pre-tax income. So nine, you take the 900 from the 1.5, you have 600,000 left over, and then you pay taxes on that. And let's say it's still the same tax rate, so roughly one third of it goes to the government, and so that you are left with 400,000 net income. 
And if you look at the math, this is actually a pretty good deal for me. Or I should, I, I, I was saying you, but I'm the guy who bought it. You are the guy who sold me the business. So this is me now. I am left with $400,000 net income per year, which is pretty good because I only made a $1 million investment. So even though this looked like a sleepy business, even though it looked like I was only getting a 10% yield on it, because I was able to leverage up, I was able to do this leveraged buyout, I'm now able to make $400,000 per year on a $1 million investment. And now all of a sudden, that is a not so sleepy annual return.